Hello everyone. Well, it's far too hot to be reviewing vacuum cleaners, but one has to do it, doesn't one? And before I start, this is going to be a demo, a pickup demo and a general view of this Hoover Eco G, which is basically a Hoover Globe. So if you're looking at a Hoover Globe, this is more or less the same as all the globes. They do vary slightly, but the basic machine is the same. And incidentally, before I go, I know you're going to say I'm clashing. I do try and wear something that goes with the machine and unfortunately I didn't have a Caribbean green, which is what this colour is, according to Hoover, top. But at least my balls match. As you can see here, look, got some lovely balls and they sort of go quite nicely with this machine, don't they? They're not my balls, but I, I saw these balls and thought, well, that's a, that's a happy coincidence. At least something coordinates with the vacuum cleaner, even if I don't. Right, I can't stay in this position for much longer because I'm losing breath keeping my stomach sucked in. So let's focus on the vacuum cleaner and see what I think of this Hoover Globe. Right, well, I've already done an unboxing and first look of this machine, so I'm not going to take you through all the features and functions. I'm just going to basically use the cleaner and give you my impressions of it, how noisy it is, how well it picks up. If you want to see the unboxing, and why wouldn't you, uh, check my channel and in the playlists for vacuum cleaner unboxing videos you will find this Hoover Eco G globe upright. Well I think we'll get down to the nitty gritty first and foremost. I'm in a room that's got a very, very pale carpet, so I'm going to get some muck and put a load of dirt down and then we'll just pass the Hoover Eco G globe through the dirt and we'll analyse the results. Right then, I've put down a fair amount of dirt on this carpet here, pretty standard fare. There's a mixture of dog hair, dust, little bits of paper, a few larger bits and pieces and it's been rubbed well into the carpet. Now this is a very unforgiving carpet when it comes to dirt. It's a very light colour and it's, I believe it's an 80% wool mix. So any speck of dirt that's left after I pass the Hoover Eco G globe back and forth through the strip of this mess, anything that's left will be fairly easy to spot on a carpet of this colour. So this is its maiden voyage. I haven't switched the machine on, I haven't used it on carpets. Um, so we're gonna see if it's gonna perform well enough to give us a good result. So without any further ado, I'll get behind the vacuum cleaner and we'll have a go. is it? Now this is often the case you get with a vacuum cleaner that's got a belt you obviously have an area where there's no brush and this is why we have this strip all the way along here because there's been no brushing of the carpet but there is also a finer little strip here you can just see just about picked that up I think on the camera but the areas that the cleaner has actually brushed mm. now if I'm truthfully honest it's not removed everything you'd have to get really close down to notice probably on camera you can't see but when I'm really close up there's a hair here and I can see odd very small particles hair here so it's not brilliant at cleaning to be honest, but I would probably rate it three out of five, two and a half. But this part, you know, this big trail, that doesn't matter in normal use because obviously you're going to be going back and forward and you hopefully be overlapping your strokes. 
So I've no doubt that a few more passes over this I should remove the majority. So let's get on with it, let's clean the rest of this mess up. Okay, so after I went over the area a few times back and forth, all the visible dirt has been removed. And let's have a bit of a closer look. Yes, all in all, that's not so bad. It didn't do too well with the initial muck, doing it in a straight line, just one pass forward and one pass back. But cleaning the mess up in the way you'd normally use the machine it's done a job. You'd, you'd be fine, you'd be happy with that in your home. But if your home has got that much dirt on the carpet, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Unless, of course, you're deliberately saving up the dirt, getting your carpets as filthy as you can, so some Channel 4 documentary makers can come round your house and clean it for free. Unfortunately, we don't have Kim and Aggie anymore, do we? How clean is your house? But instead of that, we have obsessive compulsive cleaners and the hoarder next door. There's plenty of dirty carpets in there I'd like to get my hands on. But anyway, most people would just have regular dirt and the Hoover Globe does actually cope okay. It's not excellent, it's okay and it's a standard that most people will be happy with. I'm at the bottom of the stairs now to test Hoover's claim that this machine will clean a full flight of stairs with the cleaner safely at the bottom. So I'm just going to release the handle which you also use as your extension wand and it has a built-in little crevice tool on the end there and I'm just going to release the extra long hose from the back of the machine, release it from its storage clips. Before actually I test the machine. I'm just going to see if it reaches without needing the extension tube attached and I'll put the pet hair turbo brush directly onto the end of the handle because I, I like to clean my stairs like this. I don't like using the tube so if I can use the machine like this then that's a thumbs up for stair cleaning. So I'm positioning the machine safely against the bottom step and the hose is it's a little design detail, I think it's probably not an accident. The hose is high enough so it does clear the first step. So you can have the machine quite close to the bottom step and the hose still comes out of the, the bottom of the bag container or the... Oh, you know what I mean, it comes out easily anyway. So I'm going to go up the stairs now, tool in hand and just see if I can reach right to the top. Okay, here goes nothing. Right, I doubt you can see me and I hope you can hear me, but yes, I can confirm that I'm easily right at the top of the stairs and there's still a little bit more stretch 
So it will reach just beyond a standard flight of stairs, which is normally 13 steps. I'm just going to switch the machine on though, because I want to see how much the suction retracts on the hose when I'm actually cleaning. So I'm pleased with that. The Hoover Globe does reach up the stairs and it reaches up easily. So using this ultra long stretch hose, apart from being able to clean your stairs, it should be long enough to reach high and low all around your home because obviously apart from stairs you'll want to clean your upholstery, your pet bedding, behind your radiators, your bookcases, that sort of thing, your curtains. And with the length of hose you should be able to with this machine. While I'm on the hose, I'll just show you the tools you get. Apart from the Pet Hair Turbo Brush, which is stored on board, another on board tool is this soft dusting brush. You can fit that directly to the end of the handle like that. And it's quite a nice shape for getting into corners and it's quite soft and delicate. So it's quite good for your blinds and say your tops of your books on your bookshelves. Apart from connecting it directly to the handle, you can connect it to the tube. You just move that little flap over and then you can pop the handle there. And so you've got a bit of extended reach for reaching those cobwebs or reaching down low. And on the end of the metal tubes, it's quite robust, you've got this little crevice tool. So you can put the dusting brush onto there if you want to clean the tops of your pelmets or your curtain rails. And of course you can put the pet hair turbo brush on the end as well. And it makes it quite comfortable to use because you're using the same handle that you use the machine when it's in carpet cleaning mode. And it is quite a comfortable handle I have to say. It's got a nice rubbery textured grip that does make it comfortable to hold. The other tool you get with this particular globe is Hoover's multifunction tool. That doesn't actually fit onto the tube here, so you have to take the metal tube off and fit it directly to the hose handle like that. But you still have a fair bit of reach because you've got this little button here and it extends outwards. So I'll take the brush off. So now we've got a super slim crevice tool, and quite a long crevice tool, so that'll be good for doing down the sides of your appliances in your kitchen sides of your chairs and all the corners and nooks and crannies and that is adjustable like I say and then onto the end of the tool you pop this multi position brush it angles in various positions you can twist it like that you can move that in all sorts of different areas so that's useful for cleaning tops of your kitchen cupboards that sort of thing and you can take off the brush which again is quite soft it's not too harsh you can slide the brush off and then that tool can be used on your upholstery or for cleaning your mattresses. And because it's got a nice long reach, it makes it quite comfortable. You shouldn't have to stoop or bend. And of course you can adjust it to various different heights to suit your height. Now I'm going to test the Hoover Globe's ability to pick up on hard surfaces. So I've simulated a bit of a mess here, the sort of muck you would find in your average kitchen that you might spill. So there's a bit of sugar there, a bit of salt and some larger particles which are the breakfast cereals. So in the instructions Hoover say that you must use the machine on the long pile setting. For the regular carpet cleaning I used it on this short pile so it needs to go all the way to long pile. The instructions say it could damage your floor surface if you don't. But being on long pile it means the brush is raised higher up off the surface so that could impair 
the result. So it all depends on how powerful the suction is to be able to remove this little bit of dirt that I've put down. So let's see what it does on this hard floor. Obviously I don't have to tell you that it's not done very well and I didn't expect it to because it's on the long pile setting. If I put the brush down lower we might get a better result but Hoover say not to do that on hard floors but I might risk going down one setting just to give it a better chance. You can actually get and some Hoover globes come with a hard floor nozzle that you fit onto the tube and the hose which would obviously be far better but this model didn't come with that, so this is all I have for my hard floors. So, I'm going to just go one down like that. I'm not going to go any further than that, and I'll just give it another go. Obviously a slight improvement, let's move the machine out of the way, but no, it's left an awful lot. So I could get a better result by going slightly lower with the height control, but I'm going to go by Hoover's instructions and not do that. So if I was to judge it on the performance of the machine set at the recommended setting, which is long pile, I'd probably give it, well not even a one, it picked up a bit. Maybe I'll give it one to be generous. Some of the larger particles were removed, but the majority of it wasn't. If I'm to grade it on the setting lower down, I'd still only give it a two, and that's being generous. So unfortunately, if you've got lots of hard floors to clean and you like to use your vacuum cleaner on them, then this particular Hoover cleaner isn't really one that I would go for. One of Hoover's selling points with the Globe range is its manoeuvrability with its twist and steer action or do the Hoover manoeuvre. So to see if it can twist and turn around obstacles I've put three delightful little coloured balls on the carpet and I'm just going to see if I can do the slalom without actually knocking any of the balls out of line. bit tricky in reverse but all in all this system does work quite well when you do twist the machine I'll just remove the balls for now so I can show you a bit better when you're actually using the machine it is easy to use it's easy to push and the swivel action it does work very well and when you're swiveling the machine does stay flat to the floor. The, the brushes at the front, with some cleaners, including some of the very big brand names that pioneered this sort of ball steering, if you will. With some cleaners that I've used, if you twist them too far too quickly, the head lifts up, which defeats the object of having this maneuverability. But I have to say, this machine does swivel very well. So that is certainly a plus point if you need a machine that's easy to manoeuvre and it's also comfortable to, to use, it's comfortable to push and the handle is comfortable to hold as well. I think I would probably give it four and a half, four to four and a half 
I very rarely give five, but for maneuverability and ease of use, this Hoover Globe is pretty good. So I've seen the Hoover Globe picking up dirt from carpet, cleaning stairs and attempting to pick up dirt from a hard floor. We've also seen how maneuverable the Hoover Globe is. Now we need to see how easy it is to dispose of all the dirt that is gathered inside this container. To release the bin, you've got a handle here that says bin release on it, so it's pretty straightforward. So just put your hand underneath and lift the bin away from the machine. To empty all the dirt, you have another little uh, switch here, little lever. So you push that in and then the dirt will fly out of the bottom of the container. And as you can see, I haven't emptied this machine the whole time I've been using it. It's not quite up to the max line. There's quite a lot of heavy dirt, which is surprising because I don't think I put that much dirt down. So it's not bad. And you can see the dog hairs a bit further up the container there. So I'm just going to empty this and then we'll do our summing up about the Hoover Globe. So to sum up, what do I think of the Hoover Eco G Globe vacuum cleaner? Well, it's going to be a mixed review. Some of the features this machine have make it very convenient to use. I like the swivel steering. It's light to push. It's light to carry as well. It's excellent on your stairs because the hose reaches easily up the stairs. The carpet cleaning performance, yes, I did put a lot of dirt down. And in that instance, it did get everything up more or less after a few passes. So for the majority of people, you would be happy with that. When it comes to hard floors though, it was really a fail on hard floors. If you use the setting that Hoover say you're to use, then it's not going to pick up much on a hard floor. It's fairly easy to empty. Like any bagless cleaner, there's going to be a bit of dust involved. It's easy to remove the bin. It's a little bit trickier to put the bin back. It's not difficult once you know what you're doing after the first couple of times, but you do need, do need to locate it underneath this lip first. There's a lip here that says twist and steer and you need to first locate it before you click it into place. But with anything, when you buy something new, it's, it takes a little while to learn how to use it properly. So, as I say, light, manoeuvrable, and it's got a good reach with the hose, but mediocre on performance. And also, I will say, and you probably have noticed, it's a noisy vacuum cleaner, and it does have a very high-pitched scream, which is quite uncomfortable to listen to for a long period. If this machine performed better, if this machine was quieter, then I would probably say, yes, it's a good one to go for. I'm not saying don't buy it. If you can get one on offer, there's several different variants. If you just need something compact and fairly lightweight that reaches up the stairs and you're not bothered about hard floor cleaning, you prefer to sweep your hard floors with a brush, then it's okay. But just okay. I'm not going to sing its praises. But if you can get it when it's on offer, try it out if you can. Try it out in the shop. I do like it because it's nice to use. But I don't like it because it isn't that good at cleaning. Anyway, that's the Hoover Globe Twist and Steer Eco G. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to my channel and you'll find lots of other reviews on various floor care products. See you later.